So, I think what um, Lord Voldemort is trying to say is that he has some problems with your attitude. Harry, do you feel like you can understand why he's so angry with you? Yeah, because he has attitude too. Well, what, did, what are your problems with Lord, Lord Voldemort? He tries to kill me every second I see him. <laughs> that can get pretty taxing. Lord Voldemort, do you have anything to say about why you keep trying to kill Harry? Because he's the boy who lived. Nobody else survived my beautiful power. I could have been the most, I could be the only wizard in the world with my dark marks. But he is the problem of everything else. Hmm. Well, do you think that maybe this goes back to your childhood? Don't talk about my childhood. <laughs> Hmm, well, as long as you're not going to keep killing him, I'm not sure how to reconcile your differences with each other. Would you guys like to get along better? No. no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, therapy session's over. Lord Voldemort relaxing on the couch, and he is actually Harry's dad. Harry, come in! How was your first year at Hogwarts? Yes, Dad! I killed a few Death Eaters. I did. I broke out of Azkaban. You broke out of Azkaban? That's my boy! <laughs> so, did you meet any good girls like Bellatrix? Mm. I met... Just say it. Hermione. And I killed her. Aw, I'm so proud of you! Your mother should be home soon. Sunny boy, I love you. Ah, <laughs> uh, any nice girls that you would like to date? Because I can ship them up into your ship. They are not good women. I will kill them. Good lord. <laughs> any? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, dearie, you really need to fix these glasses of yours. There. Thank you for meeting me here, Hermione. Sure, what was so urgent they would talk to me about because we might die today, or you said? Um, okay, then. 